Hello beautiful people. Today we're going to be t discussing Haggle data as it applies to Facebook's Libra coin. So what is Haggle data and why is it important? First, a little bit of context. Keep in mind the golden rule. He with the gold makes all the rules. Facebook is saying, hey, we have the right to print money, so we're about to tell you what the rules are. Customers have the power. What does that actually mean? Customers have the power because customers have the uh, money, but Facebook wants their customers' money. Whoever has a customer has the value. What does that actually mean? Why do customers, why does whoever have the customers have the value? Well, that's actually pretty simple because value, uh, customers, you get this thing called data from customers, from these guys. And so whoever has the customers has the data, and you'll see why this makes sense in a moment. Two, it's easy to scale a service design for customers who make less than a dollar a day or two bucks a day. So Facebook is saying, hey, if you're the unbanked, we have a service for you so we can actually do banking better than banks. Because remember, banking is a verb. Banks are a noun and nouns are always optional. Banks right now, they, their revenue streams, they make money off of lending, right? They make a lot of money off of lending. They determine your percentage rates and they determine whether or not you qualify. So Facebook says, hey, we can actually disrupt that. And of course, they make fees. They make a lot of money off of fees. So what does that have to do? And what is haggle data? Well, here's, here's what you need to know. Haggle data is pretty straightforward. It's the context of the transactions. Never before in human history have we been able to see the conversations between two people haggling over a chicken. I want to buy a chicken. Why do you want to buy a chicken? And we have a back and forth. This is only important because using machine learning and AI, we can actually develop better predictive analytics on cu customer behavior. And what Facebook actually wants, they don't actually want the money, the golden rule. They actually want the value, which is data. And so because data, data is the real value. You have to come to terms that money has no value. It's a practice or of faith, but data, data always has value. And this is the haggle data. So Facebook, they actually just want the haggle data. In order to get the haggle data, they have to introduce LibraCoin because LibraCoin provides them that opportunity to actually track, track on that uh, distributed ledger, the entirety of transaction of someone selling a chicken to someone else using their quote unquote communications platform, which is Facebook. So you will see that the real value is the haggle data, but they will also make a ton of money off the Libra coin, off the interest, but they actually just want the haggle data. How do they get the haggle data? They've got to roll out a cryptocurrency first and then keep everyone else confused. What does this mean for the future of banking? Well, it's actually going to disrupt banking because the lending, uh, how they make money from their different revenue streams is going to change dramatically because Facebook actually wants to make money off of, they will make some money off of this, but they actually just want the value, which is the customer data. Because if data is the new oil or the new gold, Facebook wants a better way to mine it. So. That's it for the moment about Facebook, Libra Coin, and Haggle Data. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. We'll be doing some interesting things with some banks and some financial institutions because, again, uh, Facebook is about to really disrupt the bank's revenue streams. Uh, that's it. My name is Samson Williams. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. And I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. Peace.